Hello dear students of class 6, welcome back to our English class with your tutor Vihoku Nyovile from Mount Sinai Higher Secondary School. We will be continuing a story that we have already started in a previous class and as I've told you, we are going to get to the most interesting part of the story because we have left from the battle, right? I'm sure you all would want to witness the battle that is going to take place between the cobra and the mongoose, right? And if there is anyone who has missed out on the previous class, we have discussed about the banyan tree and you will find that in page number 125 of lesson 10, okay? 125 lesson 10. So this is where we are. I want you to get back to your book or you can also go back to the previous video that we have already telecast so that we going to help you learn the story more in detail, okay? We have already left the two fighters, the, the cobra and the mongoose. And we have also, I have also told you that there are going to be more spectators. In the previous class, we saw that there is only one spectator. That is the boy who is our friend, right? But before that, we have to get into the word meanings, right? Defiance, okay? We will read the word meanings together. I want all of you to follow with me, okay? To follow me when I give you the word meanings. Defiance, rebellion or resistance. Look at this. Rebellion or resistance. Dart, move quickly or suddenly. Dart, move quickly or suddenly. Combatants, participating in a fight. Combatants, participating in in a fight. Spectators. Those who watch a show, a game, etc. Spectators. Those who watch a show or a game, etc. The outcome, result. Outcome, result. Mesmerize, hear, magically persuade. Mesmerize, magically persuade. Here, the word mesmerize is going to be used where the cobra would try to mesmerize the mongoose, okay? Because the eyes, the eyes of the snake has the power to mesmerize a person and make them feel dreamy so that they can attack. So that is what we are talking about. Next one is a false move, an unwise action. A false move, an unwise action, glistened, shone, glistened, shone. Round, here a stage in a fight or competition. Round, here a stage in a fight or competition. There will be three rounds of fight here, okay? Pull up, here stop. Pull up, here stop. You will find a phrase like this, whipped, and there will be some words in between. Whipped back, moved back suddenly. Moved back suddenly. So if I if I hit you with or if I hit something with a rope, that object would just move back very suddenly. That means whipped back. Okay, snout, the nose and mouth of an animal. Snout, the nose and mouth of an animal. To no avail, with no success. To no avail, with no success. Yes, as I've said, it's the continuation from the previous class. So this is where we are going to start. We are going to see two super fighters, the mongoose and the cobra. That is what I've already introduced to you in the previous class. And the tongue of the cobra would be darting in and out. Darting means move out quickly, as we have just discussed in the word meanings now. When you see, if you have ever seen a snake ready to attack, you will see that the tongue of the snake would just be darting in and out. They will take it out and move it back in. And so, and it would raise its body. When a snake is angry, they would not just be crawling there, but it would raise their body above the ground, isn't it? And the snake, the cobra that we see here is a six foot long. And when it was ready to attack the mongoose, it had raised already three feet of its body above the ground. That means it has raised, okay? Half of its body is on the ground and half would be above the ground because it is all ready to attack the mongoose, okay? And also, the mongoose had also bushed up its tail. It is not just staying silently, but all the hairs of the mongoose on the tail bushed up. It all sprouted up and the long hair on the spine, on the spine means on the back, stood up because it is ready to for the fight and it is ready to attack the snake, okay? And both of them were ready, all ready for the battle. 
this is what the battle we I've already shown this picture but in order to recapitulate I'm bringing this picture in again so that you will understand exactly what I'm talking about here the cobra had already raised half of its body of the ground and the mongoose is pushing up its tail and all the hairs are standing up so here the battle begins and the boy don't forget the boy that we left on the banyan tree okay the boy is still standing uh, sitting on the tree and having a watch looking at how the two animals would be fighting okay but the combatants were unaware of his presence that means combatants the two persons okay the two creatures that were fighting i told you a person who co who participate in a fight is called a combatant they were ready to combat with one another they were ready to fight with one another so the two combatants means the two fighters okay they were unaware of his presence but there was a mina and a jungle crow that came to witness the battle a mina and a jungle crow those are two types of birds and then they came and sat on the cactus bush you know what a cactus right cactus are plants that have spines and thorns some cactus are planted at home for decorative purposes but wild cactuses are big and they can form a bush when i say cactus don't only think of the decorative cactus that your mothers or your sisters plants at home there can be varieties of cactus in the jungle too and those can be more pricky isn't it it will prick you it can be more harmful for you unlike the cactuses that you have at home and so this is a mina i'm showing you this picture for you to understand the story better this is a mina and this is the jungle crow okay mina and the jungle crow have a good look at these two pictures because they are going to take a very important role in the fight of these two creatures i repeat the mina and the jungle crow they are going to be very important participants sometimes you participate maybe your work is not noticed by others but you also contribute in order to help somebody isn't it i'm sure you have seen things like that at school also when one of your friend is having an argument with the other friend if that is your best friend you would like to take side or you would like to take part with your friend by contributing more with your words or with your arguments and even animals are feeling like us they are also going to experience something like that because they wanted to protect one of the combatants okay as i said the cobra stood defensive the cobra the cobra was just trying to defend himself okay and trying to mesmerize i told you he was just looking at the mongoose so that whenever the mongoose looks into its eyes he can mesmerize he can make the mongoose feel dreamy and then attack it but the mongoose was very wise it was very clever and he did not look at the eyes of the cobra okay it, he was just looking at the neck okay at the sack i told you something like bags on animals and plants are called sack isn't it s a c sack and so the mongoose was just looking at the sack of the cobra trying to attack as and when he gets the opportunity he was waiting for an opportunity to jump and to dive on the snake and attack it because he knew very well that once the venoms once the poisons from the cobra comes out it would be impossible for him to stand if the cobra bites him it would be impossible for the mongoose to stand the power of the venom because that is very very poisonous okay and then the mongoose was just looking and then finally he made the first move it is always very difficult to make a first move isn't it but the mongoose was brave enough he made the first move and he darted towards the cobra okay he dived towards the cobra and reach a place where the co cobra can even reach if you are going on a fight or a challenge okay i don't want any one of you to fight but just imagine that you are on a fight if nobody takes the first move you are all just challenging one another the fight will never begin right so the mongoose just took the first move and then reached the place where the mong where the snake can also come and attack it so when the mongoose had already come to the place where the cobra is ready to attack what happened the cobra just tried to give a quick move and then attack the mongoose but it missed so taking the opportunity of this the mongoose quickly jump on the back of the snake and then beat the neck okay of the snake quickly beat the spine for a, a snake the neck or the spine is all the same he beat the back side of the of the snake 
And then he was wondering what to do next. He, he's very quick, but at that moment, something unexpected will come. The miner and the crow tried to help the mongoose. I told you there were some spectators. They were even willing to help the mongoose. Okay, they will be the supporters of the mongoose. And so they moved towards the cobra bat collided. Sometimes you may even want to help one of your friends, but that becomes vain, useless, isn't it? They were flying in order to protect the the snake, isn't it? So when they flew, they met each other. They were all in hurry because they cannot just take their own time, walk around and bite the snake. What they have to do is they have to make a very quick move. So when they were in hurry to attack, they just collided. That means the two birds, the miner and the crow collided. They hit each other in mid-ear and then they started getting angry with it at each other. They were shrieking insults at each other, insulting one another. We do not understand the language of the bird, but I'm sure they might be saying, it was because of you that I was unable to hit the snake. And the other one would also be saying the same thing, I suppose. We don't understand the language of the birds, but from the way they were shrieking, the boy understood that they were shrieking insults at each other, at each other for not being able to hit the cobra. And instead of that, they just collided. But the cobra's neck glistened with blood. Glistened means shone, isn't it? We have read in the new word meanings. So the back of the cobra shined, it shone with blood. Okay, because the mongoose had already beat the spine of the snake. And then that was the first round. The second round began. Okay, the cobra began to strike the mongoose and then it missed the mongoose again. So the same thing, as soon as the cobra struck, tried to strike the mongoose, the mongoose escaped and the two birds also flew out to attack the snake again because they really wanted the mongoose to win this battle. So they flew out again. This time again, they bumped into each other. They met each other again. See, they're, they're trying to help. The snake had become a vain, a vain thing, something that is useless. They were just hitting each other again and again. And if you were in that position, I'm sure you would also get irritated at one another as well as yourself, right? And then this was the second time the bird dived again and bumped into each other. They returned shrieking to the cactus bush. There was a cactus bush near the battleground. Let's say the battlefield, okay? Imagine that there was a battlefield and then the spectators were sitting on the cactus bush. And now they knew that they could not attack the snake again. So they quietly flew back to the bushes of the cactus. And the third round begins. This is going to be the final round, okay? The same course happened. The snake, the cobra, the cobra tried to attack the mongoose again. And at this, the mongoose was always successful in biting the cobra on the back. And the two birds also flew out again. Why don't they give up, isn't it? In the first round, they could not. Second round, they bump into each other again like the first round. And the third round, they're still not giving up because they want to attack the snake, okay? They want to contribute to protect the... To protect what? Yes, the mongoose. They tried to protect the mongoose by attacking the snake. And they missed... This time, they missed each other. They, this time, they did not hit at each other, but they even missed their mark too. What was their mark? What were they trying to attack? Yes, they were trying to attack the cobra in order to protect the mongoose. But this time, they did not hit each other, neither they hit their mark. And what happened was, the crow was flung, okay? The snake was just hissing around and when the snake moved, okay, it flung the crow to a 20 feet away, into the, across the garden. So it is not to a close distance. And I'm sure when you are angry, you don't just move very slowly. Everything you do is out of force right? And out of speed. So the snake and the mongoose were fighting. So when the snake turned its neck around, it hit. It might not be intentionally, but it hit the crow and threw him across 20 feet across the garden. Okay. The miner knew that this is not going to help. He flew and finally he was able to perch himself, perch himself on the cactus again. That means he was able to sit on the cactus again and the snake did not hit the miner. But for the crow, it had been thrown 20 feet away into the garden, okay? 
It fluttered and lay still. Fluttered means moving the wings very quickly. When you hit a bird or a chicken, they fall to the ground. What do they do? They don't just stay there silently and quietly, isn't it? They flutter their wings. Moving of the wings very quickly is called fluttering. Okay? But the miner de decided that it would not fight again. Finding that it is useless to fight against this, so the miner very wisely and humbly went back to the cactus and decided not to fight again. And so this is the wounded crow. The crow just got wounded, hurt, and then it fell to the ground. It, it's just an imaginary picture. We know that crows don't walk with sticks like this, but he would be in a condition like this, okay? Wounded means hurt. After being thrown away by the snake, when it was trying to attack the snake, so he got wounded. The miner was just sitting there quietly. But finally, the cobra was weakening. That means he is getting weaker and weaker. And it writhed and lashed in a frightening manner. Writhed means it was beginning to move very quickly. And it is almost time for him to be unable to move because the mongoose had attacked him so much. Whenever he tries to bite, whenever he tries to bite the mongoose with his poisonous speed, what happens? The mongoose would always come and attack him. So because of the attacks given by the mongoose, the snake was getting weaker and weaker. Okay. So finally, what did the mongoose do? The mongoose was just smelling the snake around, okay, sniffing. You know what is sniffing, right? Before having food, what does a dog do? It would sniff. That means it would sniff the food with its nose and then see whether the food can be eaten or not. So the mongoose was just sniffing and now the snake lay there, almost dead. It is not capable to fight anymore. And then the mongoose was just sniffing across the length of the snake and then it dragged the snake into its bush not the bush of the cactus, there were some other bushes too, okay. So the mongoose came out from the bush, the snake started attacking him, but finally he was successful, so he dragged. He was dragging the snake, the body of the snake, which was almost dead and is not capable to harm him anymore. He dragged it carefully to the bush. The miner was looking at it. I'm sure the miner is also excited about it, right? The miner was also excited and he carefully. By now, the miner is feeling weak because for the second time, they bumped into each other. The crow and the miner bumped into each other. The third time, they did not bump into each other but it would be tiresome for it too. So carefully, he came down to the ground to see what was happening in the bush. He peered through the bushes. That means peeping, okay? He, he cannot just enter the bush of the mongoose, but he was just looking silently at what was happening in the bush. And then after seeing that the mongoose was, was able to drag the snake successfully into its bush, the miner was also happy. He wanted, it wanted the mongoose to win the battle and so it happened the way it wanted. Though the miner's contribution may not be very big, it tried to attack but it was unable to attack the snake, isn't it? It was unable to attack the snake but finding that the, the creature, that is the mongoose, that it was supporting was able to come out successfully the miner became proud and happy. And then the miner gave a shrill cry of congratulations. They will not be shouting congratulations to the mongoose, but the, I told you the way that they communicate is different. So it gave a, a very sharp cry of congratulations and flew away with the contentment and the joy that the, the creature it wanted to support has come out successfully. And so this was this story was narrated to us by our author as a young boy of how he experienced his life on a banyan tree at his grandfather's house. Though the grandfather has a house there, he considers that the banyan tree belongs to him and the house belongs to the grandfather. And so th with this, we are going to end our story for today. I hope you like the story. I'm coming back to you with more interesting lessons. Continue watching the video lessons. Thank you.